I'm tired of struggling. I'm tired of living poor. I'm tired of not having enough money to pay bills. Today I had to pay. I'm blind in one eye. I was blind in both eyes. And, you know, I worry sometimes that I can lose my vision in my other eye. But, um,. I don't have the best vision in one in the what in the eyes that I can see out of. So I have a disability, but I can't get on disability because I make too much money, but I don't make a lot of money. I can't get free health insurance. This is the eye drops that I get for my eyes. Um I don't have any insurance, so I have to pay out of pocket. It was thirty dollars which is a lot of money to me right now. Can't afford, I don't have a job where that offers as a temp, I'm a temp and my job doesn't offer health insurance or vision. So I can't afford health insurance on the marketplace. Yeah. So yeah, this is this is my life, the struggle. Um, people talk about they want to go to college so they can get a job, but I would never tell anybody not to go to college. But a job is not guaranteed if you go to college because I went to college, got my bachelor's degree from Michigan State University, um, and I have a law school degree. I went to law school. And I'm unemployed. I've been unemployed since the last 10 years. And I experienced homelessness on several occasions for years. Um, I applied for jobs, but <laughs> I'm convinced. I'm convinced at this point to get a job, you need you gotta know somebody because they don't even. Because when you apply, to jobs just online, you never get a call back. You never get an interview. And if you do get an interview, you don't get the job. So I'm convinced, like, I don't know what's going on. Kamala giving $10,000 loans to black men in Detroit. It's a proposal where the loan up to $20,000 will be forgiven. We all need that loan. We all need a forgivable twenty thousand dollar loan to start a business because at, at this point everybody will have to start a business because they are no one is hiring no one is hiring um especially for jobs for white collar jobs unless you up there you know somebody you plug you gotta be you gotta be plugged you gotta be plugged to get a really good job so many people in this world Keep talking about they quit they nine to five they hate nine to five they never come. I was I'm trying to figure out what type of nine to five did y'all have because I ain't never worked a nine to five tip job that I just was like you know what I quit I'm never going back to nine to five so I, I think it just depends on what you work what you do and how much money you're making. If you do have a good nine to five job paying six figures, you gotta get you the time to quit your job. So people a lot of people are not just quitting cold turkey. People have money saved up. People have people within people that have been on jobs for tens of years, they have they're not telling you they got a savings account, they're not telling you they got um dividends coming in every month they're not telling you that they're not just tell, they're not just quitting their job trust me but you know i don't know what i i guess i gotta start a business some type of business i don't know what type of business to start but it looks like employment is not for me because i can't even find i've applied i even applied at a grocery store 
at a restaurant. Mm. But all I know is <laughs> I'm not living like this. I said this. I've said this. I'm, I'm just not living like this. I'm not living to to live like this. So you can take that however you want to take it. You know, um, I don't want to. I don't have any family. I don't have any friends. So no one will probably even blink an eye if I'm not here anymore. But. You know, I've tried and I'm not living, you know, just to be stressed out about housing and food and prescriptions. I'm just, I don't have it in me to, to thug it out to, I don't have it in me, you know, I'm gonna try. I'm going to continue to try, and at this point, I don't know how much more I can take.